News from the wires of United Press International brought to you this afternoon by the used car supermarket. First in the news, the government of Katanga says former Congo Premier Lamumba is dead and buried. A Katanga spokesman said Lamumba and two of his aides were killed by tribesmen yesterday, three days after their escape from a farmhouse jail was announced. The spokesman said all three bodies were buried immediately. He refused to say where Lumumba was killed for fear of reprisals against the tribesmen. Many observers never believed the report that Lumumba and his aides had escaped. Some thought the report was a cover to set the stage for a claim that they were killed while escaping. Observers now fear that news of Lumumba's death may lead to a full-scale civil war in the province. UN Secretary General Hammarskjöld has called for a complete and impartial investigation of the death of Lumumba. He said the investigation should be carried out by the UN. He spoke at the Security Council as it began a session on the Congo. The debate is expected to be furious with Russia taking the lead. A dozen or more African nations probably will demand to be heard. Soviet Ambassador Zorin ridiculed Hammarskjöld's call for an investigation of Lumumba's death. He said the blame rests with Belgium, its allies and agents, as well as Hammarskjöld and the UN command in the Congo. UN Ambassador Adlai Stevenson appealed to all sides not to seek revenge but reconciliation in the crisis. We'll continue with the news in just a moment. Open your eyes and ears to better used car values at used car supermarket during their gigantic birthday celebration. Here is a car that offers quality performance at a price that says it's made just for you. This beautiful 1955 Pontiac two-door has economical straight shift and beautiful green finish. The total price, just $395, only $10 down and 24 months to pay. This car is extra clean, too. Be sure you see this one at the used car supermarket. Truly a great value. At used car supermarket, your continued satisfaction is their aim. And you'll get more pleasure out of every mile you drive with this beautiful 1956 two-door Chevrolet hardtop that has radio, heater, and white wall tires. This one can be yours for just $10 down and only $38.88 per month. If you can't trade at used car supermarket, I want to tell you folks how pleased I am to be back in Lawrence County again this evening. I have many fond memories of my earlier visits to this county, and I only hope that I'll be around for many years yet to keep coming back and paying the visit to you folks. I've got a great many close friends here and a number of relatives that live in this county too, and I'll always have a great attachment to this part of the country. It's good to be with you tonight, and I bring you greetings from the state capitol. I'm delighted to see so many of you here this evening, when we are gathered to pay tribute to our good friend, Mr. Clarence C. Horton. It is a pleasure and a measure of true devotion, I believe, when such a large number of friends turn out to honor such a great man on such an occasion. Your attendance this evening shows the high regard that you have for Mr. Horton, and I'm sure that you all know him pretty well. I'm sure that you know him and that you're real happy to have him as a native of Cortland, Alabama. And when a hometown turns out to honor its native son, I can tell you that is a tremendous compliment. We just as proud of Mr. Horton down there in Montgomery, too, as you people are up here in Cortland, Alabama. When the Alabama legislature created the State Department of Veterans Affairs back in 1945, he became the first director and has served in that capacity ever since. Not only has he done a superb job, but he's also won nationwide recognition for his fine work, too. He has served as National President of the Association of State Department and Directors of Veterans Affairs, the second person in the nation to hold such a high post. His administration of the Department of Veterans Affairs has brought honor, prestige, and credit to our fine state. It led, in the fact, to his appointment as Chairman of the Veterans Affairs Committee of the Sovereign Southern Governors Conference. Many states were upset recently when the Veterans Administration revealed plans to close down many of its offices throughout the country, but not here in Alabama because veterans in this state have been taken care of through such fine people as Mr. Horton. 
In the years ahead, I know that the veterans of our state will continue to receive the same courteous, excellent service because Mr. Horton has so well organized that office here in Montgomery for the Department of Veterans Affairs, staffed it with fine, capable individuals who will now carry on after his retirement. Mr. Horton attended school at Florence State College and was a newspaper publisher in his earlier years. Since moving to Montgomery, he has given freely of his time in the public interest. In 1954, he was state chairman of the March of Dimes campaign. He served two terms on the State Democratic Executive Committee. In 1960, he was chairman of the Veterans...